so let us see the first standard that is the knowledge of uh, knowledge of law okay so let us see what the standards are saying so standards are saying that we need to understand and comply with all the applicable laws rules regulations okay so th these rules regulations are of government okay, regulatory agency or any association which is governing your professional activities please note that here because we are part of a cfa institute okay so the cfa institute code and standards are also included in this rules regulation please note that many places we will say that members okay but these these standards are for the members as well as those who have who are candidate of the cfa program so the standards are applicable for members as well as the candidates so what we are saying is you need to understand and comply with all the rules and regulations of the government bodies and any association which you are part of okay so the next one is saying that they, you have to comply with the more strict rule or regulation okay so we'll see the various scenarios okay wherein what we mean by more strict so think about it so what we have is we have this is the cfa standard okay, ethical standard then we have a situation wherein some laws or regulations can be more strict than the cfa okay then some laws and uh, rules can be lesser than the cfa okay now suppose let's say this is a standard which is uh, there in the usa so there are some uh, rules and regulations in the securities wherein the the legal requirements are bit more than the cfa ethical requirements okay and then there is a some com country let's say nigeria okay where the rules and regulations are lesser than the cfa standard okay now suppose you are in a situation okay in where the government says that the nigerian rules are applicable okay so if you see the nigerian rules are applicable what we see is the cfa ethical standard is higher than the nigerian rules so we have to stick with the cfa standard okay so whatever the uh, standard of practice handbook is mentioning we should stick with that okay however if you are in a situation wherein you determine that the usa rules are applicable okay so in such cases you have to stick with the usa rules because this is higher than the cfa standard so always we need to abide by the higher of this okay so this is more strict less strict this is cfa if you have to abide by the more strict okay you go with the more strict one but if the legal requirement says that you have to stick with this you have to then go with the cfa standard in the book you will find that they have given table and they have given you nine different scenarios okay right but note that all of these scenarios can be very easily tackled by this diagram so this is a cfa standard less strict more strict always try to see that okay which one you have to follow legally okay the higher one is what you are required to follow as from the cfa uh, ethical standard point of view okay then the next they are saying is that member should not knowingly assist in violation please note that you may not be aware about the standard about the about the rules about the violation okay it it may happen that you may unknowingly assist in violation but okay knowingly you should not assist in violation okay so if you are aware that you are uh, doing the violation you should not do you should stop doing okay we'll see okay then they are saying that you should dissociate from the activity wherever you see the violation so if you think that okay you are a part of some violation you should dissociate yourself okay let's say what are the guidance the guidance is you should follow the most strict law or rule or regulation okay then if in your company somebody is doing something wrong you may confront the wrong doer directly you can say that you should say that okay stop okay but sometimes it may be better or in fact most of the time it may be better to go through the proper channel so the proper channel what we say is you report to your supervisor or the compliance department and from there you go so what we say is you can confront them directly but better channel is to, to notify your supervisor legal counsel or compliance department and go through the proper channel okay 
now in many situation it may happen that okay if uh, you may have to dissociate okay so it may happen that okay you uh, mention to your compliance department and the compliance department says that uh, there will be no problem as far as the legal point of view is concerned okay but if you see that it is compromising on your ethical standards so you need to dissociate okay you should dissociate you should not be a part of that activity okay if you are a part of that activity that is you are not doing any action so inaction may be considered as participation okay so if you are aware of any violation okay dissociate if you are there okay so inaction may be considered as a participation okay please note that there is no requirement as far as the standard is concerned that you should report these violations to the government authorities there is no requirement however under such a situation which we will see later that this may become appropriate okay an example is when you see some market manipulation or there are issue with the market integrity that time you may be required to report it to the government bodies otherwise the you have to go through this channel that is notify your supervisor compliance department and move in that direction